Hey, this is It Stand Ups and welcome to my studio. I've moved into this space about um, two years ago and um, when I moved in here we literally had two walls only, nothing else um, around here. The, the floor is quite special as well so we went two meters down so it's got like a little air gap in there as well so that's why the whole sound is pretty tight in here and it sounds really good. The, the bass traps on the corner and you got these little acoustic panels at the back which observes the extra bass. So this is, this is the basically the, the kind of best listening spot. Uh, these diffusers help to observe the extra uh, tops. So yeah, overall I'm, I'm really happy with the sound that I have because this is probably the most important thing for me. I just need to make sure that everything I do here sounds perfect. So um, then that's the kind of sound I can take it to the clubs with me to play out. This here is my, uh, I'd say the old synth rack. I used to use these quite a lot, especially the Juno. One of my classics and uh, I've used this a lot past um, 10 years. I'm, I'm kind of bored of the sounds now. I keep hearing it on every single production. So I'm just kind of moved out of this one. And um, here we have um, SH201. And this is the first synth I ever bought. Sadly, it didn't make into any tracks. I had to buy something that I could play around with and learn how the synthesizer works. And um, this was the cheapest option. And uh, we have a JP8000. This, um, this is a brilliant synth for the sort of um, soundscape, kind of background sounds. So we have the uh, Torai series, the um, SP16 here. This is quite, this is my uh, go-to sampler at the moment. So what I do is I start my production around these samplers. So I write all my drums, all my samples are loaded into a hard disk, straight in the USB slot, so I can have access to all my library. Here we have the Korg Minilog, probably one of the best go-to scenes at the moment for me because of the uh, sounds. Right, one of the uh, another reason I love this synth is it can create this such a um, weird, complex sort of arpeggiated sequence sounds, and uh, it's brilliant. It's kind of you can just add one of these at the back of your track, and it makes this absolutely stunning noises. Absolutely brilliant. TR8, I think it is a pretty amazing machine. I've been using this quite a lot as well. It's pretty much in every single track. And it's got this sort of very classic Roland drum sounds. And it just does the job. It is, it is what it is. Um, basically, I use it for this, most of the time for the snares. I don't like the kick sounds on it. It's kind of okay, but I've got better kicks to play around with, so this is not really my favorite. But so I, I kind of like the heads on this and the, the snares. But, you know, when I start producing, I thought, you know, I need to have a MOOC because I, I actually love the, the fat sounds coming out of this. But um, I've only managed to make one track with this uh, unit, uh, which is called the Raised by Wolves. So it's one of my um, first releases. I like the, the, the weird minimal kind of percussion percussion sounds coming out of these little devices. So I'm trying to build a drum synth here, but I'm also using it for different kind of texture and uh, background sounds. So this, this um, I've got a couple of drum synths here. One, one of them is Dinkis Taiko. This is the kind of um, minimal kind of percussion drums behind all my every single track of mine. Um, this is um, yeah, I've got something happening here. This is why I mean, this is one of the reasons I like to start 
Uh, as soon as I've got like a little drum uh, loop happening, uh, going, I'll, I'll come back here and I'll try to come up back with a kind of catchy groove. And um, yeah, this is where sort of modular comes into the... Most of the time what I do, I uh, record kind of a um, little background sound with one of my recorders. So I, I, this is what I carry with me all the time. So when I record something, whether it's in the park, on the airplane, anywhere basically, I do come back with some sounds here. I then take these sounds and load them into my sampler here. So it kind of, I use them as a texture sound. I've recently got this TBO3. It sounds really good. I love the sound of this. So here. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. Here we got the AS1, this is by Pioneer, and um, they uh, work with Dave Smith to create this, and um, it's kind of like the uh, the prophet, I believe. And the most amazing thing about this synth, I think, is the, is the cut off the filter. It's a brilliant scene. You can come up with really melodic stuff because of the um, uh, the ARP um, and the little sort of sequencer it has. Uh, it can do a lot. Yeah, I've got three different speakers here. One, uh, the my mate speaker is the Dean Audio. It's a BM12A and it's got a, an amazing sound about it, but um, I find it too clear sometimes. That's why I've, I've got the Pioneer next to it and um, it kind of gives it a different depth and um, it gives it a different feeling. And I've got um, a, a 10 inch subwoofer here, which make it sounds like, when I put all this tree together, it sounds like fabric's main room. So that's, that's how I build things around it. You know, when I put everything together, it feels like we're in a nightclub. And that's, that's the thing I like about it because I only produce music to play out. Um, so it gives me that kind of feeling. <laughs> 